I'm just going to say that Wells Fargo's number one of foreclosures and evictions. Many of our neighbors are being put out of our homes. Our neighbors of 25 years, were, their home was sold to a predatory Bob Joe Gerardo. Investor, Joe Gerardo. Gerardo yeah. Who just made a half a million on their home. 14 days on the on the market. 14 days. Sold mm. for 1.3 million. 1.3. And this 3. is just one small example. They went into one of our other members' homes at Christmas when the husband had just gone on hospice and asked him how fast she could be out of the home that he just bought. The same man, the same investment. Yeah. And and our neighbor's home was Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo's number one in foreclosures and in, and and evictions, and it's putting people out of their homes. So it's a crime. It's a crime that needs to be stopped. So I'm, I'm here to use my voice to do what so I let can people know. to share this information with people. So where people are we? Where are we right now? We are in front of the Wells Fargo Bank at 420 Montgomery Street. They have covered up the stagecoach. Why do you so think they did that? I think they don't want us to be identified as the, they don't want to be identified with people out here protesting about the predatory see. lending practices. Well, let's see. If you stand right, right here, I can get you on the video with the with the stagecoach. If you stand right here, there we go. Yes, it's the Wells Fargo stagecoach. <laughs> John and you together on the stage. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, thank you so much for coming to the first of many um, of our ongoing Wells Fargo, Occupy Wells Fargo, Stop the Evictions vigils. We will continue. We will bring our family and friends. Cool.